Good morning, Luis Rubiales, the former president of the Spanish Football Association, was arrested yesterday as part of a corruption investigation. He was released soon after being detained on arrival in Madrid from the Dominican Republic. He is suspected of receiving illegal commissions when negotiating a lucrative deal to stage the Spanish Super Cup competition in Saudi Arabia. Mr Rubiales denies any wrongdoing. After stepping off the plane, he was taken in a black van with several members of the Guardia Civil. He was released soon afterwards. Local media reports that Mr Rubiales could appear in court today. He was also separately due to go on trial for sexual assault for kissing the player Jenny Amoso on the mouth after last summer's World Cup final. Ms Amoso and her teammates said the kiss was unwanted and demanded meaning. Mr Rubiales was forced to resign but has denied any wrongdoing. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez yesterday said the response of his Israeli counterpart Benjamin Netanyahu to an airstrike that killed seven aid workers was insufficient and unacceptable. We are waiting for a much more detailed clarification of what the causes have been, Sanchez told a Doha news conference at the end of a three-nation tour of the Middle East. U.S.-based food organization World Central Kitchen, founded by Spanish-American celebrity chef Jose Andreas, said it was pausing its operations in Gaza after the targeted Israeli strike on Monday killed Australian, British, Palestinian, Polish and U.S.-Canadian staff. Netanyahu later admitted Israel's military had unintentionally killed him in an airstrike. He said it was a tragic case that would be investigated right to the end, but stopped short of apologising for the deaths. Sanchez has been one of the most critical voices in Europe over the way Israel has conducted its military campaign in Gaza in response to Hamas's October 7th attacks. A cruise ship reportedly carrying 1,500 passengers was stuck in Barcelona yesterday due to the visa problems of a group of Bolivian passengers who were due to disembark there. Authorities say 69 Bolivians are not being allowed to leave the ship because they lack the valid documents to enter the European Schengen area. Government officials in the city said they are in contact with the Bolivian authorities and the MSC Cruise Company to resolve the situation. The ship was hoping to continue its cruise to Croatia. And January, February and March are likely to have been the warmest first quarter since records began in 1961. AMET said the average temperature in mainland Spain during the first three months of the year was 9.5 degrees Celsius. That is 1.9 degrees Celsius higher than the average for this time of year, and 0.1 degrees Celsius higher than the previous record set back in 1997. Final data is still needed to confirm the record, but the Meteorological Agency said as January and February were already very warm months, it believes the first quarter of 2024 was the warmest in history. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.